My name is Pete, and welcome to my garage. Hello everybody, what is going on? I have behind me a 2000 Buick LeSabre. Now GM made a lot of these 3800 V6s here um, for many years. They're a great engine, they last a long time. However, there's a couple of maintenance items that needs to be uh, taken care of. Very common for a couple of uh, things on the top end to leak, mainly the valve cover gaskets and the lower and upper intake gaskets. Um, there's a couple other things that sometimes go wrong with them, but for the most part, those are the two main things that you get leaks from. That was brought to me by a gentleman saying that uh, he was smelling a burning candle smell whenever he came to a stop. Well, after a little bit of investigation, found out what the problem was. Gentleman took it to a couple of shops they, they were thinking maybe plastic bag on the exhaust or something for the smell, but uh, they didn't find anything. Like two, two shops couldn't figure this one out. I don't know why it took two seconds to figure out, but uh, I'll show you what's going on. Now, pretty much any job with this 3800 Series 2 V6 starts with removing this cover right here. This is the engine cover. It's very simple to remove. First, you take out the oil fill cap, pretty easy. Make sure you don't lose it, set it aside. I like to put it on the air box for safekeeping real quick. And then just pull up and remove. There's a little tab in the back that's usually has a little rubber piece on it that fits down in that hole right back there, but uh, to keep it from rattling, but a lot of times uh, that, that little rubber piece falls off. This piece can actually go in the trash at this point because uh, GM on a lot of the vehicles actually has a recall to replace that front valve cover gasket and valve cover for leaking. And part of the recall is you throw this in the trash. As you can see, this front valve cover right here has this piece right here that holds the spark plug wires on. Along the way, GM also had a recall Pretty much on the W bodies, which would be like your Impala, Grand Prix, um, Monte Carlo, all that sort of thing. And it was to remove this spark plug wire retainer here, this bracket. There's a couple of clips underneath that you need to grab a hold of. See right here, a little tab right there. Pull up on that. There's another one on the other side over here. Pull up on that. And that piece this is another piece that we throw in the trash okay now we have a much better view of our valve cover down here and as you can see around the outside of that valve cover there's quite a bit of oil buildup if you look down at the exhaust studs they're covered in oil and so is that exhaust manifold right there. And that oil dripping on the exhaust manifold is what's causing that burning smell that the customer's smelling. So that burning smell right there coming from the oil burning on the exhaust manifold gets blown to the back side of the car. For the most part, you don't smell it until you come to a stop considering right in here is your cabin air filter and this vent up here where all the fresh air comes into the cabin whenever you have your blower on for your AC and stuff. So that's what he's smelling. The rear valve cover is also leaking, but another thing that's leaking, you can see there's a bunch of oil down there at the lower intake manifold, that orange gasket right down there. That is the china rail gasket that likes to leak but also the gaskets on the side it's hard to get a good angle at it down in there between the cylinder head and the lower intake also like to leak so i'm gonna have to fix that and if you noticed right here 
That's actually CV boot grease that's been slinging up by the belt because way down there, you've got an axle boot leaking that I'm also going to replace. So I got a few things to fix on this car. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more content like this, please hit subscribe and I'll get more content up as soon as I can. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll answer them back.